interest rates. Let's dive in. Americans who have long enjoyed low interest rates will have to adapt to a new environment as the Fed embarks on what seems like habitual interest rate increases in an effort to fight inflation. That we will see a Fed rate hike every single meeting this year. 2021 brought record low interest rates, below 3%. And now it's gone. Poof, gone. Credit card rates and probably car loans are about to go up as well. People better get ready for higher credit card interest rates, right? And we're looking at American Express, MasterCard, Visa. But hey, if you're saving money, you might yield a little bit of a higher rate, maybe. On March 16th, the Fed collectively decided that he would raise the rate a total of seven times, seven, seven times. Bringing the benchmark rate between 1.75 and 2%. They also expect four additional increases in 2023. Oh no! That would bring the benchmark rate up to about 3%. I know. Jerome Powell, my least favorite person right now, thinks that by gradually increasing the rates, and making lending more expensive, it will cool down home purchases, car purchases, all purchases, I guess, in an effort to reduce inflation. So what does that mean if you're in the market to buy a home? Stick around, I'm gonna break it down for you. Well, I've got some good news for you. There's a small ray of sunshine. Mortgage rates don't necessarily rise in tandem with the Fed's rate increases. So there's that. Sometimes mortgage rates move in the opposite direction of the Fed rate. Long-term mortgage rates tend to track the rate of the 10-year Treasury note which is influenced by a variety of factors, such as investor expectations. The S&P managed to rally 27% last year. Why? Glad you asked. Because hope sprang eternal. And hope could spring eternal again this year. Global turmoil, you know, things like a war, often make people seek safer investments like treasury notes. Treasury notes are some of the safest investments that you can make. But don't get too excited. Rates are still gonna go up. For now, due to inflation and strong economic conditions, the 10-year note is up, which means mortgage rates are up. So I bet you're asking yourself, Hmm, how is that gonna affect the housing market? If you're looking to buy a house and you're frustrated by the lack of inventory, eye-watering prices and bidding wars, well, that's probably not gonna change anytime soon. Economists say that higher mortgage rates will discourage some people from jumping into the market, but the bottom line is, if you need a house, you need a house and you gotta buy a house, no matter what the rate is, because you need a house. Home prices have steadily been on the rise. We're in excess of 20% on house price increases. And with high demand and very low supply, this is going to continue to keep the demand and the housing prices up. The higher interest rates are simply going to cause the prices to increase at a slower pace. So, still going up, but not as fast. And with such strong demand and younger people entering the housing market, the housing market itself hasn't kept up. And this has caused a perpetual housing shortage. 
and thus keeping prices high. You also have the cost of materials driving up the prices of houses. We have a supply chain shortage and this is causing new construction prices to go through the roof. Well, credit cards, home equity lines of credit, and other variable rate interest debts rise at roughly the same rate as the Fed hike, usually within one or two billing cycles. But here's a little ray of sunshine. Car loans won't necessarily go up as much because they kind of go more with the competitive environment versus the Fed rate. But I would expect those 0% rates, they're gonna go away. Will you get more interest on your money? Probably a little bit. This depends on where you have your money. Typically, banks, even though they're charging higher rates on their loans, don't necessarily share in the profits with their, you know, account holders. It uh, really depends on the account, or the CD or money market. You may yield a little bit more, but I wouldn't expect it to be a great deal. I pulled rates up. And if you look at this screenshot, you will see what the prevailing rate is for April of 2022. I know. It sucks. Well, I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. If you haven't already done so, consider subscribing to this channel. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Uh, I cover topics like this all the time. Make sure to surf my channel. You'll find all kinds of interesting information about neighborhoods, mortgage tips, real estate tips. I try to post that once a week and I'd love to have you join me. My name is Lisa Ahrens with 772 Living. Thank you for stopping by.